So when I first saw Matt, you can see where he's been training, um, where he hasn't been training. You can tell he goes to the gym and knocks out his typical routine that, thinks, that works for him. So he's a little bit out of balance. So I immediately say, okay, we need to disengage that, we need to re-engage that and create a, a new symmetry for him, a, a balance restructure for him. For me, how I work is you gotta create a synergy of self immediately. What that means is you need to compile pillars of nutrition, right? Exercise curriculum, intensity, and bring it all together and create a kind of synergy of self so you can change. So I would, I would take Matt and say, we gotta address your diet. Where, where are you lacking? Where do you wanna go? Biomechanically, what are you doing? Imbalances. And then we have six weeks. Let's create an intensity. Not how heavy you can lift, but an intensity of body awareness, nutrition, structure, sleep, rest, put it all together, and in six weeks, get the body you want to get. I had two reasons for taking this challenge on. Uh, one was I wanted to feel like a professional athlete again. I, I needed a challenge, I needed a goal, um, something to sink my teeth into, and uh, this for me came up, I guess, at the right time. I'd been retired for six years and uh, it was just, yeah, really well-timed and, and something that I could really focus on. It has been extremely hard. Maintaining a diet with uh, a family is really difficult, with um, a work life is very difficult, but it's doable. I thought my best days were behind me before going into this. That was my biggest fear, that my body had forgotten, that my body couldn't get back to potentially what it had been in the past. And particularly in six weeks, I thought, oh, am I gonna be able to find that underneath it all when I strip it all back? Has it all disappeared? I think the biggest problem is not the physical aspect of getting old, it's the mental aspect of getting old and the assumption that you can't be what you were in the decade before. You can't be what you were in my 20s. I can't be what I was in my 30s. I, I don't believe that. I think you can find that, but you've just gotta find it mentally.